Highland areas across the world are home to a wide diversity of alpine plants. Alpine plants grow at altitudes where most other plants, including trees, can't survive. And since no single species is dominant up here, alpine plant species can be astonishingly diverse and colourful, flowering like jewels on lofty mountain peaks above the clouds. They come in all shapes and colours and forms, including really unique greenhouse plants, the likes of which occur nowhere else on Earth. Alpine habitats occur across the globe, on mountains throughout Europe, the Americas, and in particular diversity across the vast Himalayan region. Alpine plants also occur on peaks across Africa, which hold unique Afro-Alpine vegetation, and the extreme Alpine areas of the high latitudes, particularly the Arctic. Conditions are similar in all of these places. Winters are cold, and summers are short and cool. Plants here generally have to be low-growing and have compact foliage to survive in these extreme windswept places. But equally, they also need to produce prominent and colourful flowers in order to attract the very few pollinators that are found here. This gives rise to the unusual paradox of small plants producing really big, showy blooms. As the climate in alpine habitats can be so extreme and the growing season is compressed, each plant has to grow, flower and set seeds within just a few months or even weeks. This often brings about mass flowering during the warmer summer months, transforming upland meadows into seas of colour. This concentration of flowers drives diversity and many alpine blooms come in unusual shapes, from the globe flowers of the upland lily, Lilium lophophorium, to the intricate slipper-shaped blooms of Cypripedium orchids, and the hooded flowers of Aracema, and the colourful iris. Although alpine flowers come in all colours of the rainbow, in many alpine areas, blue flowers are unusually common. This may be to reflect harmful ultraviolet light, or to stand out from other flowers and vegetation, or to contrast with the greys of rocks and scree. Whatever the reason, the queens of the alpine blue flowers are the Mechanopsis poppies of the Himalayas. Several Mechanopsis species produce stunning sky blue flowers, with petals that can be almost transparent when wet. The adaptations of alpine plants allow them to grow in some of the most extreme corners on the planet. Alpine plants can even grow over 4,000 metres in altitude, where it's freezing cold even in summer. There's no soil, just frost-shattered rock. And some do so by making their own greenhouse. Here's one down here. This is the bizarre Sorcerea medusa. It produces tightly packed leaves that are covered in intertwined hairs that form a globe that traps heat just like a greenhouse. This protects the plant from the savage conditions and allows it to photosynthesize in as much warmth as possible. Rheum alexandriae is another Himalayan greenhouse plant, but in this species, the leaves are modified to be pale or even almost translucent and overlapping. This shelters the flowers and keeps them as warm as possible. In the alpine areas of the Arctic, conditions are even more hostile, and the entire growing season may be just a few weeks long. Many of the plants that grow here have adapted to the extreme conditions by growing together and forming small cushions. Here, hundreds of plants grow very tightly together and this offers the benefit that collectively they shelter from the worst of the wind and the rain and the weather. And they also synchronize their flowers and flower en masse so that they make the most colorful and conspicuous display that they possibly can to attract the very few pollinators that are found here. As a result, alpine arctic areas may be covered with colorful cushions of plants. 
Each cushion may have thousands of individual flowers, and often the flowers develop only on the southern sides of the cushions, where the rays of the sun are brightest and the warmth strongest. So these cushions may act as compass plants and point the direction to the south. As many alpine plants are naturally very cold tolerant and hardy, they often make very easy plants to grow in temperate areas. The rocky habitats of alpine plants can easily be replicated as rockeries. A rockery should have thin, well-drained soil amongst rocks to replicate the alpine environment and usually exposed to bright sunlight to mimic natural conditions. If you don't have space for an alpine rockery in your garden, then many alpine plants can easily be grown in well-drained pots or in patio tubs. You can create stunning displays of flowers and patterns of the unusual textures and shapes of alpine foliage. There should be a place in every garden for these colourful jewels of the plant kingdom. So good luck in growing your own sea of alpine flowers.